again. Um, so I was requested to make a video about my experience with LASIK. So I've been glasses free for, I want to say two weeks now, maybe a little bit over. Um, so you have to take into consideration I had to do this twice. So the first time I went in, it I wasn't really that nervous, like I was nervous because you know like lasers in your eyeballs, but um, I actually found out that I have an adverse reaction to Ativan, which is also means I have an adverse reaction to Xanax, Valium, Ativan, you know, etc. I actually found out the Xanax part at uh, the dentist, but couldn't do anything about it because they were drilling into my face and so I was just like, oh, I guess I'll stay here. But um, so. I had an adverse reaction the first time, was the only person they told me to physically leave the building and have to come back a couple weeks later, which was wonderful for my self-esteem. They told me that right before I went in the second time. So anyway, this is what happened. So I went in, you know, paid him the money, and they set you in this like giant poofy chair, which is wonderful, and there's like spa music playing so you can like get relaxed and you know there are other people sitting there with you not too many but uh somebody comes over and they explain the procedure and they put little like booties over your shoes and then they put like a little shower cap over your head and then they iodine uh wash your eyelids so they sanitize your eyelids and then they take you back after you know the doctor who puts all this stuff on your body uh, your little outfit they put uh, numbing drops in just your first round you know your eyes just like feel super heavy but you know it's not invasive or anything anyway you head back and it's a very very dark room you lay down and you're just like looking up at this like little green light and there's like this big machine over your head and like some lady over here is just like, she states your name and then your prescription and you're like, oh, this is very impersonal. But then there's like a lady there specifically just to hold your hand or at least hold my hand because I was freaking out because I didn't take anything to calm me down. You know, you take the Ativan, the Xanax, the Valium, whatever to like calm me down. So it's a super smooth procedure. I wasn't able to take anything. So I just winged it anyway. So they put more numbing drops in, stronger ones, and then they put a speculum in your eye, which holds your eyelid open. The first time I did it, I had the wire speculum, which I feel like was a little bit too big because I have like super like child size eyes. And it bruised, it ended up actually bruising the top of my right eye. And so they used the one i cannot remember what it's called but it was the one that they use when they were still like scalpeling the lenses and everything like using that instead of like lasers and so that one was a lot more comfortable a little bit more bulky but once you get past that honestly that part is the most uncomfortable doctor told me that's the easiest part he was a liar and i told him that i was like no like having something jammed under your eyelid definitely hurts more than the rest of the procedure especially since your eyes numb so anyway they put this giant like it looked like a like a box over your eye and it's it's all white and so you know you're focusing on the green light and then they put this thing over and it's like super blinding and then it puts pressure on your eye and they're like okay so your vision's about to go very slowly and you know of course this eye is covered too so they always start with your right eye unless you know requested otherwise but so you your vision goes completely black and it feels really strange it doesn't hurt like I don't know if you've ever put like a vacuum like to your hand like a vacuum hose to your hand that's what it feels like but on your eyeball it's pretty exciting sorry the dog is muting pets uh <laughs> so they put the little vacuum suctiony thing on your eyeball and that creates a ton of little air bubbles underneath your cornea which creates like the flap so they don't have to cut anything which is fantastic and I guess at that point you're able to go home if you freak out like after the air bubbles but once the laser starts like you you're you're done like you can't leave but during that portion if you're like oh you know not really digging this then you can leave but it, it doesn't 
hurt at all. So uh, your vision goes black and all you see are these purple and green spots like before your vision. It's actually pretty intense, kind of scary when you're like, I can't see anything else. Am I even looking in the right direction? I actually had to ask him that like five times just to make sure. Anyway, that only takes like a minute or so. They take it off and then, you know, the laser starts after they like hose down your eye and everything and like remove the flap. I mean, granted, you know, I couldn't see a lot of this because as soon as they lift the flap up, you, you can't see anything. I mean, it's very, very hazy, like, picture your terrible prescription, double. So, you just can't see anything. So, I don't know what they were doing. They were, like, rinsing off my eye um, before the laser. So, anyway, the laser starts, and it doesn't hurt. It just looks like a red line, like, flashing over your eyes. You smell burning hair, but nothing more than that. Uh, they tell you how long it's gonna last. They're like, okay, so the laser will only be on for 18 seconds, which is very comforting. <laughs> so you can kind of like count backwards or just be like, it's only 18 seconds, just because it's it's nerve wracking. It doesn't hurt, but it's nerve wracking. And anyway, so that happens, and then you know they wipe off your eye, they hose it down with this whatever, and then they put the flap back on, and then they use like this tiny little squeegee looking thing to like smooth over the flap, you close that eye, they move over to the other side. They told me that the other side is normally worse just cause your body's like, what are you doing? Like, excuse me. And it didn't feel worse. It actually went by a lot quicker, but I started shaking. I didn't know I was shaking. I didn't feel nervous or anything at that point cause it was easy as cake, easy as pie. Uh, so anyway, I was shaking and I remember as the laser was going, the doctor had to physically like move my head and so I had a little hem or hemorrhage on this side of my eye it's still healing after two weeks uh might actually be three weeks now anyway uh I'm still taking uh steroid drops because they also uh, have a blood stain on my eye just because the blood got into the flap and stayed there and so it can cause like sensitivity to light and a little bit of discomfort. So I'm taking some extra medication for that, but it's not a big deal. Um, the healing process was super easy. You know, you leave, like my procedure, I think only took like eight minutes, super, super fast. You, you know, you have to keep your eyes closed because they don't want the flap to like move around. You have to go home and sleep. They prefer that you sleep or at least keep your eyes closed for the next four to six hours. And I think I, that entire day, it was like 9 o'clock in the morning when I went and got it done. Uh, that entire day, I was only awake for four hours because I just took a sleeping pill and passed out. Nobody tells you about the immense amount of pain you're going to be in as soon as the last round of numbing drops goes away, which they put on immediately after. Like, you're sitting in the big poofy chair again for a couple minutes while they make sure, you know, everything's good. And, yeah, like... And I think it's actually because I'm a natural redhead, and so we require more anesthetic, more painkiller, everything like that. And so they put the numbing drops in, and it literally only lasted like 10 minutes. And we still, we had to run an errand mm -hmm. real quick. I mean, I was staying in the car, but uh, I don't know how long we were in the car. I feel like it was an hour and a half, but dear God, it was the most intense pain I've ever had. Didn't last very, very long. I um. My lovely husband, Tegan, got me uh, ibuprofen and an eye mask. Take an eye mask if you're going to do this because someone will drive you home. And especially if it's 9 o'clock in the morning, the sun will be right in your face. And it's not the sun that hurts. It's you, like, um, squinting your eyes and moving the flap because it's still an open wound. You know, it literally happened, like, right then. But after that, you know, I was fine, went home, slept, you have to put drops in. It was awesome. The next morning, I realized that I could see when I was like staring up at the ceiling fan and I was staring at it and I was like, that thing is so dirty. And then I sat up and I was like, I can see, oh my goodness. And cause I've worn glasses since the third grade and I like literally couldn't see further than like right in front of my face. And so it's been fantastic. Um, I highly recommend it to anyone. The healing process has been wonderful. I mean, I've had to go to a couple more eye exams that are than are typical just because of having to move. But 
since most people don't have an adverse reaction to the uh, calming medication, then it shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, it was it was super awesome. My vision's getting better every day. Uh, don't rub your eyes if you do get it done. Like they tell you not to rub your eyes for a month. And, you know, I didn't, I wasn't worried about rubbing my eyes in my sleep, never rub them, you know, since I also wear a lot of makeup on my eyes, and I've wear, worn, like, five fake eyelashes and stuff like that, uh, I'm used to not rubbing them, but two times, actually three times now, I have woken up rubbing my eyes, like, woken up from rubbing them in my sleep. The first time, it was only three days after, and it was this eye, which was way more irritated, I think my prescription was just stronger in that eye, but... I my vision was blurry for that entire day until you know I put drops in they were like you know it'll be fine um I didn't feel anything weird but I like I think I kind of like shifted the lens just a tiny bit or the flap while it was still healing but the drops definitely kind of moved it back so now um my vision's 2020, which is awesome uh this morning I actually woke up rubbing my left eye which was terrifying because I was like, dear God, I don't want to have to go through that again because I just got back from the doctor. But, um, yeah, it was wonderful. Sorry for the roundabout way of talking about it, but it was fantastic. I highly recommend it. I went to the Insight LASIK Center in, I want to say, Park Meadows, like Highland Ranch, Colorado area. And I saw Dr. K and he was fantastic. I still have no idea what he looks like because, you know, they take your glasses, you're introduced, you shake their hand, they're just this big blurry blob. And then you walk in and they're like behind oh. the big machines. And, and then, you know, they do a like quick little exam to see that like the flap is like where it's supposed to be and it's not going to move every time you blink. And, uh, yeah, so... I couldn't see him then either. Still have no idea what the guy what what the guy looks like. I have a picture of him, like, in the packet that they gave me, but he just looks like I don't know. Anyway, I never saw him. It was really weird. It was the weirdest experience ever. <laughs> but yeah, it was wonderful, and my eyes are healing. In two weeks, I get to go back and hopefully get off all of the steroids and everything. But yeah, I mean, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I will definitely document the healing process probably like a month out, but yeah, awesome, thank you.